This is 61 Canterbury and Brewer. It's a large, newer home for our area. It's a four bedroom, or five bedroom technically, I guess. Three bath, it actually has a four bedroom, two bath main house, and then they added an in-law, one bedroom, one bath on. It's got parking and a two car garage underneath. Uh, it does actually have, not only does it have the parking here, which is got plenty of room for four vehicles plus the garage. There's also an extra driveway over there if somebody needs parking when they have guests or family here. There is probably what would be the main entrance over there and you see the garden shed. Um, we're gonna go in the front door because I think it gives a better idea of how it would be than walking in the garage. Very nice neighborhood. This location doesn't get a lot of traffic. Uh, it's very close to the new Brewer Community School. This has got basically a lower level and then the upper level. It's almost all hardwood floors throughout. The in-law has uh, a couple rooms with carpet and then there's a small area uh, in the family room downstairs. It's mostly tile, but it has a little area of carpet as well. Big living room, about twice the size of a lot of living rooms with this style home. It does have a, little, a wood fireplace in the corner. Um, there's also a wood fireplace downstairs. If the tenant has insurance, it will cover that. They can use it. Has sort of an open floor plan. They already did new ceramic tile, as well as updating the kitchen with new appliances and granite um, tile on the countertop. They are all newer appliances. The house has been for sale for the last couple months. We had a doctor who rented it for a couple years. Uh, we put it on the market. And the owner just doesn't want to let it sit empty, so it could be available to rent if somebody wanted. If that happens, then the owner will take it back off the market. Nice area for a dining room set, etc. Has a nice deck, and it does have a pool, which is not necessarily normal in our area. It is a short lifespan for pools here. But in addition to having the pool area, it has this nice deck, and then there's decking down below as well. And there's a nice little side yard that is still fenced here. Fence in there and a little garden shed, so you have a little extra storage, uh, etc. That has the garage downstairs, plus there's also a second garden shed uh, beside the driveway as well. Going through, this level has got three bedrooms, uh, a bunch of closets, because it was um, built this house is about 30 years old. It does have really good closet space. A lot of the older housing in Bangor, this is actually kind of gives attic hatch there, but also it gives some extra storage. A lot of the older houses in Bangor, most of the houses that we have around here are 100 years old and they have very little closet or storage space. So this is kind of nice. Um, on the right hand side, you'll see here, a lot of ranches also have small bedrooms. Um, these bedrooms are all good size. I think this room is like 12 by 13. You have Bedroom number two here, which again is like 12 by 13 or 12 by 14. Has nice size closets in all the rooms. And then on this side, this room is a little bit better. I believe it's um, 15 or 16 by 12. This easily take a king size bed. And this has a little bit deeper closet. You notice there, it goes in. And uh, so there's a little extra closet space here. House uh, has a newer boiler as well. It has multiple zones, so it is pretty efficient to heat. And then the bath, the owner renovated, has marble tile on the floor. They did a new vanity, which has granite top, did the tile on the walls, and then there's extra storage with a medicine cabinet. And it has a vanity, a linen closet, vanity closet. And then there's a, this right here opens up somewhere. Somewhere, it does. I don't take too much time. The videos are great. They do run out at, the camera maxes out at five minutes, so I have to try to be careful to catch everything. There's more storage there. Um, so downstairs, we have the fourth bedroom, or it could be an office. Uh, there's an additional bath, which the owner renovated, and then this large family room. Family room has a slider to the back deck. I mentioned there's another fireplace there. This is kind of nice because it gives a lot of decking even, and that is a safety cover on the pool. So the last tenant 
used a pool one year, didn't use it the other. So tenant is responsible for taking care of the pool, uh, opening it and closing it if they decide to use it. This is the other better more the owner and the last tenant used this as an office. It has some built-ins there. It's good size still. And then this bathroom, which the owner renovated, uh, added a soaking tub. It has the little jet thingies. Again, uh, granite top vanity and real tile. And then it has a washer dryer hookup on this side. It is a tight fit, but it does fit um, most washers and dryers. Uh, the owner had a set, um, and the last tenant, of course, had a set too. There's another one of those thermostats. I believe there's two upstairs and one here. Now, it has two car garage. And the garage has auto door openers. This side of the garage it also has heat in the garage. This side of the garage will take a full-size vehicle, actually even a long vehicle. That one over there needs a smaller vehicle because they constructed a wall around the uh, furnace room. So, but it will fit a small vehicle. Has a man door over there. So it is direct entry. And the nice thing is that man door over there goes into the apartment. So the apartment has its own entrance if somebody wants. And then this door, again, is a regular entry door, but it walks into the in-law apartment. This is the bedroom. Relatively small, we'll do a queen size bed. There isn't a lot of room on the end, there's just enough room to scoot by because the owner's mother was the reason this was put in and she had a lot of clothes, so they did a big closet. Uh, it's unusually big and it's very nice to have this set up if somebody's got extended family uh, that would be visiting or even if they just wanted separate space to work, uh, have an extra bedroom. There's a bath for this, that's a three quarter bath. A shower over here in the corner. Toilet. Looks like we have a piece of wallpaper to fix there. Vanity. And again, has a linen closet. This has its own uh, propane heat. And there's also electric in here as well. There is the fireplace, which nobody has used. And then the extra kitchen, which actually the last tenant used the refrigerator because holidays and that kind of stuff. Uh, or just to have the extra freezer uh, refrigerator. And then they used this for family uh, when they had them stay, which was kind of nice. Um, if somebody had adult kids that were in college or something, it could, could be space. And then this door is the door that goes right outside. So this is the door that goes into the garage. This is the outside entry. Goes right out to the driveway. And this is the door that most people...